so listen here. I know that you know how to pack for your vacation. But I wanted to kind of share a couple of things with you that I think you're going to appreciate. Stay tuned. here and listen I know what you're thinking where have this girl been <laughs> I took a little hiatus uh, not much um, from the video recording and so I am now refreshed I am renewed and I am back um, I am not just back but I'm also on vacation and I wanted to share a topic with you that um, came to mind when I was actually on my way uh, en route to my vacation so I know that you know how to pack for your vacations. Um, so in addition to the regular schmegla degla things you pack, I thought let me just share some of the extra things <laughs> that I add because I am extra. I will be the first one to admit I am extra. <laughs> so um, a couple of things that I wanted to share. Um, this will be a fast video, so let's get started. The first thing is um, well you know if you go on a tropical vacation or a beach vacation or a pool vacation or whatever uh, you know that pool inflatables are, are they're good to have a lot of times we don't think about that some resorts do actually have inflatables um, especially if it's a resort that's like a family resort and they have kids um, but do you really want to use somebody else's inflatables what just a question just asking uh, I actually was able to go to uh, go on Amazon and I just typed in pool accessories and I was able to find a good amount of inflatables that were easily to be packed uh, and can be compact. You obviously wouldn't inflate before you come so you're able to fit everything into your luggage. So um, donuts, uh, the lounges that you can lounge on when you, and lay back when you're in the pool. Um, the squirters, the balls, all those things can be packed into your luggage with no problem at all. So, um, in addition to that, I would say, who wants to blow up inflatables with their mouth? No one. <laughs> so, I was able to also find, I don't even know what it's called, but I call it a inflatable machine. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I need to go back to Amazon and look. However, it is... Um, chargeable so the battery can be recharged it is compact I think it can fit into your luggage it has all of the apparatuses apparatuses that you need um, for any different type of inflatable so the thick ones the little pointy ones you name it it comes with it and it also allows you to not only inflate the, the uh, inflatable but it allows you to deflate it as well so you don't have to squeeze your inflatable to get all the air out. It deflates it as well. So it's a really cool tool. Again, I did find it on Amazon. And so hopefully you will uh, like and appreciate that too. I will say for the last three vacations that I have been on, I have not seen a lot of people with inflatable pool accessories, toys, whatever. So I think this is a, a item that's worth mentioning. <laughs> So hopefully you appreciate that. The next thing is, uh, well, even before pe the pandemic, I had happened upon some reusable utensils because I'm that person who always, when I go to a restaurant, I always ask for plastic utensils. I just have a, a thing about using utensils that I know that others have already used. And I know it's getting cleaned. I trust that it's getting cleaned, but this is just... <laughs> so I found some. They actually have uh, plastic uh, uh, utensil wear, uh, but I actually found bamboo. I like that it's, it's easy to clean. Um, I'm able to wipe it down with some antibacterial wipes when I'm on the go and also wash it when I am home. So uh, this is it right here. I found this also on Amazon. What can you not find on Amazon, right? And I use it religiously. Um, one of the things that I wish I would have purchased though is the uh, metal straws. I mean, I'm realizing more and more and more that restaurants are either doing away with straws altogether 
or you're using those paper straws that don't last but like two seconds before it starts to get soggy. <laughs> so I don't actually don't use those anymore. Um, so I prefer to use my own. Now I lost the ones that I had. I need to go out and purchase some more. So that's on my list. <laughs> so this video is for me too. <laughs> The next thing I want to bring up, um, when you be on vacations, you want to keep your personal items with you. And so whether it's your phone, your passport, I don't know, whatever, your tip money. Um, and so I actually tried out a couple of pouches that were not really effective. But about three years ago, or four years ago, I found these pouches that um, they're for your weight as, as a waist pouch. And when I tell you, and I actually have one right here. Um, this is it. <laughs> this right here, it has three levels of Ziploc. So it is secure. When I tell you, you can keep your phone, even though phones are waterproof today, it don't mean you want to immerse your phone in the water necessarily, but you can put your phone, your passport, your money, anything that's valuable that you want to keep on you while you're in the beach or in the pool, you can keep it on you and you don't have to worry about it getting wet. Um, the other ones that I've had just were not as effective. So, I found this on Amazon as well. So, hopefully you'll find this handy. <laughs> the next thing that's on the list. Let's see. Got a couple of things. I talked about tip money. I don't know if people remember that, but hopefully you do. Don't forget your tip money. Go to the bank. Get a couple of singles. How long you want to stay? $10 a day. Something like that or more. You know, uh, get your singles, people. God, it's these folks. <laughs> the next thing I think I alluded to a little bit of it earlier is uh, antibacterial wipes. Um, in addition to that, I use my uh, my Lysol. I have it here. So years ago, I will say, because um, I have been using this for a long time for travel specifically, or when I'm on the go. Period. I will say that. Walmart had these. It was a lot skinnier and a lot thinner, yeah, thinner than this. It probably had less inside of it. But the nozzle was leaky or it didn't work. It was just like a waste of your money because they're not like, they're like $3 a piece, I think, maybe two something a piece. And so you would get it, you would go to your destination and you can't even spray because I'm the person who sprayed down her bed. <laughs> I spray the pillows down my toilet seat anything in the hotel or the resort that I need to use I spray it down that's just me and this is all pre-COVID me <laughs> but the other one did not work so it looks like and I never complained about it I should have but it looks like somebody have because they then came out with this new and improved version since the pandemic and this nozzle works a lot better I'll show you real quick this nozzle works a lot better than the one that I used to use. So I am grateful that they changed their whole, they revamped their whole system. And now this is a lot easier to, to use. Um, the next tip that I will share, I think I have one here. The next tip I'm going to share with you, you know, when you're on vacation, your days tend to be long when you're, especially if you're traveling with the kid, <laughs> you're going to be sitting at the pool all day, basically. <laughs> So, um, a phone charger, not phone, well, backup battery, um, it's a good thing to just take with you. I mean, I take it just to be on a plane anyway. I hope you can hear me because they're playing music. But I take it on the plane with me anyway, but I always bring it with me when I come here because he's going to take forever. And this right here, it has two prongs. It's a USB-C, which USB-C is pretty much used for almost everything these days. And I love this one. This one is a heavy, heavy duty one and it's a lot of, a lot of voltage and it lasts me for a good amount of time of the day. So you can find this too. Guess where? You said it, Amazon. <laughs> um, let me think. There was something else, last but not least, people. Even if you are highly melanated, such as myself, <laughs> Do not make the mistake in thinking that you do not need to wear sunscreen. Don't make a mistake, please people. You need sunscreen! You need it too. Um, this is my favorite one. This is uh, called Black Girl Sunscreen. It's 30 F SPF. I use it a couple times throughout the day. I actually put it on even under my makeup if I choose to wear makeup. I'm only wearing makeup today because I am. it's production day. <laughs> 
but I wear it all the time, guys. I know we don't think that we need to use it, but please, you know, and not just use it, um, you know, once, you know, if you're going to be out and about throughout the day, use it a couple of times a day. It will not harm you. It will definitely do you some justice. I've actually gotten a little bit of a, gotten even more highly melanated since I've been here, which is fine. But at least I know my skin is protected um, uh, for the most part. So anyway, that is all I have for you all. I told you this would be a quick video. I hope you appreciate the tips that I share. Um, you know, some of it you may already do today. Um, and so if that's the case, rock on. <laughs> But for those that this is helpful for, I'm glad that I was able to be of good use <laughs> since it's been a long time since I've been um, in front of you. And listen, I appreciate you guys for joining me again. Thanks for rocking with your girl. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I will be coming back with you with another video. I haven't really figured out what that topic is. I have a couple in my head, so I'll decide on which topic is going to be next. But So you stay tuned, and you'll get a chance to join in on the conversation. But for now, I hope that you um, be well, be whole, be renewed. Um, just enjoy those who are around you. Our lives are not promised to us. Our days are not promised to us. So, so really just appreciate your loved ones, your friends, your family. Uh, appreciate yourself. Give yourself some grace. <laughs> All that good stuff, guys. And I will talk to you again soon.